All right, we got Miller and Renew. Um, go ahead, Rabbi. No mics? Yeah. Okay. Malik, just start with you. Just sort of, you start the other night, play a lot, you obviously in the rotation. Just sort of, what, what, what things are working well for you here as you get going in your college career? Um, just being an energizer off the bench um, and just showing that um, I'm able to do anything on the court, um, helping my team out with you know, rebounding, um, posting up, stepping out and handling the ball on the perimeter. So it's just showing that I can do a lot of stuff and just being a spark plug off the bench. Tom. Miller, no, you've uh, had a chance to see these uh, four freshmen all summer long and, and now these last couple of exhibition games. Is it this is the first time for us to see them? Is there anything they've done these last two games that has surprised you at all, or have you kind of seen what's coming? Yeah, no, no, there's no no surprise over here. I mean, because you know, coach, you know, even the first exhibition coach has you know a lot of trust and belief to, to put them in the starting lineup, and we we believe in them too. So uh, you know, there's no surprise on our end. We've seen what they can do. You know, they compete their butts off, and, and uh, you know, you know, when it comes game time, we trust them, and, and uh, you know, they're only learning a lot more every single day. Yeah. Miller, I guess more broadly, that second unit, it seems like you guys talk about doing some sort of 1v2 scrimmaging and things in practice. What makes that group work? And I recognize it can be interchanged a little bit, maybe injuries pull a guy out. But when you see Malik, Tamar, Jordan, Trey, that whole group, what really makes that group work? Well, the first first thing that comes to mind is just energy, you know, you know, and toughness. You know, that group of, of you know, the guys coming off the bench, you know, Coach Woody says all the time that, that our bench is as important as our starting five. And, uh, you know, that, that rings true. You can, you can tell that anybody who comes off the bench is, uh, you know, coming in with energy and life. So uh, at the end of the day, you know, it, it doesn't matter really, you know, who starts or, or, or whatever. Whenever anybody's in the game, you know, we're playing our, our, our tails off. Malik, you've been around Jalen more than anybody. Have we only seen the start of him because he had he had some NBA moves out there today, and it looked like he, he could have jumped into basket a couple of times. Just talk a little bit about him and what we what can we expect down the road. Um, what you could expect from Jalen Hood, you know, is um, just a leader, um, someone that's going to be there every day, working hard every single day, uh, and ready to go. Um, he has a pro bag. He gets to the spots. Um, he's a very impressive player. Dustin. Um, we obviously threw a bunch of uh, uh, double teams at Patchy in this one. Basically, I feel managed to get a bunch of assists out of that, also a bunch of points. Just how did you feel about just how you handled those? Um, did you know? Did you see more of that tonight, basically, and, and, and how just what was your sort of evaluation of that? Um, I think I held up pretty well. Um, just understanding that the double teams coming, um, getting the ball out to my teammates who were open, and getting up in a position to be able to catch and just shoot. Um, I, um, yeah, that's pretty. <laughs> Last question, Evan. Miller, uh, pulled your threes here pretty open there, but you seem to take your time for your shots. What's going through your mind on those, and have you changed anything in your shot this offseason? No, I haven't changed anything. You know, those shots are weird because, you know, usually I'm not that open. So, uh, you know, but I do practice those shots where, you know, I have more time than normal. And so, uh, yeah, no, it's just, uh, just another shot. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Yeah.